Good evening to all of you. You're watching Lok Sabha TV. I'm Andrak Puneta with you. In the program, Meet Your MP, we bring and we invite a member of parliament from various constituencies and we talk about their plan, uh, their agenda and their uh, a little bit of the background as well. In this edition, we bring you a young member of parliament from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, he's a first time member of parliament uh, and uh, he's starting his journey as a member of parliament. So what he thinks about himself and his aspiration is his experience so far in the parliament. Uh, we have with us, um, Mr. Bharat, uh, he is a member of parliament from YS Congress and um, uh, he comes from the constituency called uh, Raj Mundre from Andhra Pradesh. Very warm welcome to the show in the Lok Sabha TV. Uh, Namaskar. Mr. Bharat. Uh, tell me something about your background that, I mean, you are the first time member of parliament. Um, we'll talk about your experience in the parliament later, but can you tell us our viewers about your background, family, was someone in your family uh, was from the politics or not? Yeah, first me uh, spell out my full name is Bharat Margani. Margani, okay, I'm sorry. Bharat Margani okay. and uh, I'm coming from YSR Congress Party, hmm. uh, led by uh, Sri Jagan, Jagan Mohan Reddy Jagan And uh, my constituency is uh, Raj Mandri. Uh, now okay. it is converted to Raj Mahendra Bharam. Earlier okay. it is okay. Raj Mandri. At the B British era, okay. it was named as a Raj Mandri. Okay, okay. And now uh, uh, we have changed the uh, na name to Raj Mahendra Bharam. Raj Mahendra Bharam. Okay. Raj Mahendra Bharam. Okay. That has to be uh, come with a gadget in okay. the coming days. Uh, I, I hope it will come. Because uh, at the time of uh, uh, actually our constituency was ruled by uh, the king called Raja Raja Narendra. Mm -hmm. So earlier the name is Raja Mahendra Varam. Mm. In the rule of Britishers, it is converted into Raj Mandri. Okay, okay. And now again we've converted our uh, constituency name as Raj Mahendra Varam. So it may be my fault of my North Indian diction <laughs> or not, uh, not being yeah. able to understand yeah. the... Raj Mandri. Raj you Mandri. can call okay. Raj Mandri. Okay, yes. okay. So now we can come about your uh, background yeah. that uh, how did you get into the politics and uh, was it a by chance or was it a pre-planned move? No, actually, uh, um, right from my college days, uh, I've been uh, in the politics only. Okay. I have a passion towards the politics. Mm -hmm. And my uh, background is like, uh, I have did my couple of uh, movies in Telugu industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, after that, my father work, uh, worked as a socialist. Mm -hmm. And now he's a uh, BC JAC chairman for Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Backward Communities uh, Joint Action Committee chairman. Okay. So in a way, uh, uh, our honorable uh, chief minister, mm -hmm. then uh, the leader of YSR Congress party, uh, yeah. he actually uh, wants uh, the BC communities also to uplift the mm -hmm. BC communities and all. Mm -hmm. So in a way, he has declared uh, Rajmandri parliament seat. Okay. First time ever mm -hmm. for a backward community. That is how uh, I've got the opportunity. Uh, my father is supposed to contest for this, mm -hmm. but our leader Jagan Mohan Reddy ji mm -hmm. wants youngsters to come over. Come over, okay. So this is your all the future uh, for the country. Mm -hmm. So in a way, he uh, asked my father, "Why don't you encourage your son?" Mm -hmm. So in that uh, process, I've got into this picture. Was it his padyatra? What you call? He travelled entire states and he generated lot of euphoria passion among the youth was yes. the reason that you somehow uh, liked him his policies his, his kind of a what what is his zeal to take on the uh, the state government as well as the congress party in the center was that reason and because from movie to politics seems little uh, i mean people come in the later stage but you are okay. coming in a very <laughs> younger stage yeah i thought uh, maybe this time or the next uh, i thought i will certainly come to the politics okay but uh, the fortune favored me uh, and uh, the God has given me the opportunity uh, mm -hmm. at this early ages. Mm -hmm. So I've got into this and uh, you're talking about this Padayatra and all. Yeah. And he is the first person to do such a long journey of mm -hmm. Padayatra. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this past one and a half years, yeah. he has did uh, almost like 3,648 kilometers of Padayatra. Mm -hmm. He met all the sections of the people and he himself has seen the many miseries and what the problems of the people has, has been facing and all. Okay. So he has seen it and uh, he has announced uh, Navratnas mm -hmm. as the uh, manifesto mm -hmm. and now is uh, going to deliver all this, uh, the promises what he made in the mm -hmm. uh, manifesto and all. Mm -hmm. Our manifesto is completely clear with the two pages. Mm -hmm. So any leader, any Karyakarta knows mm -hmm. what exactly the manifesto is. Mm -hmm. We can even spell it out. So okay. that okay. confident we are there in. Mm -hmm. 
people in, the, in especially um, in media, uh, I mean, what you call the experts in the media in the North India, was sure that the uh, Jagan is coming in a big way. But the kind of result, I mean, the kind of the margin uh, that uh, came is quite uh, um, surprising. I mean, did you did you somehow sense the kind of the whip and the uh, wind is blowing in a way, way that you somehow sense the thing? Or uh, um, yeah. was it a surprise we, for you we, as well? We expected it. Uh, our, uh, our leader used to say, that we are going to win more than 140 seats in the assembly as we have uh, 175 uh, assembly Asa seats in, in uh, Andhra Asa Pradesh yeah. and 25 MPs in Andhra Pradesh. He used to tell us uh, after the election, pre-election and post-election also. Mm -hmm. We definitely crossed 140 seats in assembly. Maybe by chance we even can uh, clean sweep the parliament seats of 25 out of 25. Okay. And we are also uh, that much enthusiastic because the slogan Rawali Jagan, Kawali Jagan. Mm -hmm. That means uh, we want Jagan. Okay. The slogan. Okay. That slogan has went to each and every household, each and every person, even the small kids. Mm -hmm. They used to sing Rawali Jagan, Kawali Jagan. Okay. That has went in the minds of the people. It went and it's plunged in the hearts of the people. So okay. that slogan, uh, the people uh, got attracted to it, and the way. He uh, speaks anything, mm -hmm. he stick to his word. Mm -hmm. So what the promises he made, definitely uh, Honorable CM uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy ji will stick to the promises what he makes generally. But with this kind of mandate, with this kind of verdict, it comes a lot of <coughs> responsibilities and because he uh, will have to somehow fulfill all those promises and aspirations. Do you mm -hmm. think that will have a, some kind of a, um, added responsibility on you and your chief minister to fulfill that? Yeah, of course, because uh, we don't feel uh, that it's some kind of burden or something. Mm -hmm. Because we treat our people like our own brothers and sisters. Okay. So that is absolutely our responsibility. That he, uh, what our leader always used to say, God is there and God is great. Mm -hmm. And whatever promises you are going to make, you have to deliver at any cost. So okay. that is the directions he has given for us. Mm -hmm. And moreover, uh, in this center also, the BJP and the NDA government got an absolute mandate. Mm -hmm. And we being a minority, uh, as our hon honorable CM also told, mm -hmm. uh, by the time uh, he visited to Delhi for the first time, yeah. and he made a press meet also. Mm -hmm. So that is there completely uh, uh, what the promises made by the BJP mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. So we wanted BJP to uh, keep up to their promises. Okay, okay. So the Honorable Prime Minister also, uh, uh, we uh, demanded for special category status, even uh, the Prime Minister, the then the Prime Minister candidate, uh, Shri Manya Sri Narendra Modi ji, has mm -hmm. also made a promise at the foothills of Lord Balaji. Yeah, yeah that uh, Andhra Pradesh will be given a special category status. But that is a very tricky situation because technically it cannot be given. At the time when the TDP withdrew the support from the BJP, from the NDA particularly, uh, uh, there was a talk that technically it cannot be given because of certain clauses. But uh, the money can also be somehow compensated. Uh, money can be given uh, in terms of compensation. I tell you one clear point. Mm -hmm. If you have heart, you can do it. What is wrong in it? Because with the people, the majority people of Andhra Pradesh did not, didn't wanted the separation of uh, United Andhra Pradesh. But okay. somehow in a political okay. foul play of uh, Congress party, mm -hmm. the UPA government has bifurcated the United Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. And we are left in lurch, mm -hmm. completely we uh, isolated. Mm. So at least uh, then the uh, senior leader of BJP, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Venkai Naidu ji and mm. the vice president of the country now, mm. he has... Uh, given a promise if the NDA government comes to the power, we will give 10 years of special category status. Okay. We are asking uh, what is made, what are the promises made uh, in the noble house, in the shallow house. That has to be, uh, uh, you know, that the promises has to be uh, keep in mind and they have to deliver the goods. But is this a core issue? I mean, the people really want that status because technically yes, people yes. are saying it is a mere political gimmick. Uh, uh, but I'm, I'm just asking you as a, yeah, as a yeah. person, as an outsider, because TDP wanted the special status. Now you are wanting the special status because the, somehow uh, the demand seems uh, quite palpable in terms of uh, the people's aspirations. I tell you one single point. The TDP mm -hmm. and Congress, they made a foul play. They made uh, the people uh, completely deceive the people of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Because once the TDP, if they stick to their word, by the time uh, mm -hmm. the NDA government, they've got into the uh, 
the NDA government. Mm. By the time uh, they have uh, completely pro to the special category status. Yeah. And after three years or two years, I guess, mm -hmm. after two years, uh, the BJP has told that uh, Andhra Pradesh cannot be given special category status. Mm. That will be given a special uh, purpose vehicle or something. They are told. Yeah, yeah. Uh, special package. A special package. And they have agreed to that. Mm. Because, uh, and again, mm. the mandate of the people and the mood of the people is uh, towards the special category status. Mm -hmm. Again, TDP mm. and uh, the Nara Chandra Babu Naidu, Mr. Nara Chandra Babu Naidu has taken a U-turn. Mm -hmm. And our Honorable Prime Minister also call, calls him uh, Chandra Babu Naidu as a U-turn uncle or something in yeah, yeah, yeah. some public speech he has mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. So, because, because of this uh, complete foul play, mm. the people of Andhra Pradesh got deceived. Mm. So, because uh, from past 70 years we were there with the Hyderabad, we have a lot of attachment with the Hyderabad mm. and even uh, the united Andhra Pradesh was there and we were considered to be a very rich state as far as the agriculture sector is concerned. Mm. All our investments, everything went to the, uh, the capital area, mm. the Hyderabad mm. and we are also the part of building a great capital called Hyderabad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the lot of industries have uh, come came to Hyderabad because of the investments from the Andhra Pradesh only. Mm -hmm. Because we've been considered to be a very rich state as far as the, in the olden days what we have. Okay. The only income what uh, all the people used to have is only from the agriculture sector only. Yeah, yeah, that's right. From past 70, 80 years we were uh, so rich, the Andhra Pradesh people because of the, the delta area we've got. Okay. The Godavari Krishna Delta area. We've and got. now with this bifurcation, bifurcation uh, that portion has somehow that, been that went to Telangana, to Telangana state. state. Okay. And uh, after that, so the only uh, purpose uh, that can uh, be uh, bridged is only special category status. If some kind of incentives can be given, mm -hmm. tax benefits can can be given. Mm. So the major industries may come to Andhra Pradesh from okay. the state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And as we are having a long length of the coastal area, mm -hmm. so the industries, uh, many industries may come and many five star hotels will come. Mm. So in that way, uh, the, the revenue of uh, the revenue generation uh, will come to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Mm. And now we are running with a deficit budget. Okay. And uh, the past government, mm. led by uh, Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, mm. has made of uh, made lot of debts to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And that uh, even uh, our honourable uh, Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, he has also uh, urged the honourable Prime Minister mm -hmm. uh, to waive off the interest. Uh, what is what we have to pay okay. to the World Bank or. Uh, uh, the debts what he, uh, what the earlier government made. But you, as, as you see talking about that uh, industrialization and the investment that may come uh, into Andhra Pradesh, <coughs> but we, we already know that um, somehow uh, since last almost 10 or 15 years, uh, Hyderabad or uh, uh, other areas become the IT hub. Uh, but recently when Jagan uh, Reddy is, um, uh, somehow uh, gave uh, the 75 percent job quota for the local youth, I mean he somehow com uh, compelled the, not only the private, uh, no, uh, the public sector, but the private sector as well. Don't you think it will somehow be the undoing and the private players will somehow um, maybe a little bit cagey to come into the Andhra Pradesh to invest there and this will be kind of a, a deterrent for them. Not exactly. Uh, that is what I am trying to tell you mm -hmm. right from uh, before also. Don't see the other states with Andhra Pradesh. We are like completely wounded Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And we are there in the crisis mm. and uh, the people has to go, the graduated uh, kids, Youth. the graduated students mm. or uh, they're in search of jobs. Mm -hmm. So when other state people comes to Andhra Pradesh in search of jobs mm. and where our local people will go? Because we are uh, having a limited industries, we okay. are having a limited uh, employment. Mm -hmm. So they have to go to some other places in search of jobs. Mm. So what our honorable uh, prize, chief minister has made a thought of giving 75% of job quota okay. to, to the, the people of Andhra group. Pradesh yeah. and uh, to the local people. Mm. And uh, this is called the, uh, the slogan, as you know, the son of the soil is also there. Mm. But uh, it, it is there for the complete nation. Mm. But uh, don't see our Andhra Pradesh uh, comparatively with other states.
But that so happens, I request. Okay, okay, I, I understand. But that happens with the majority of the state. I mean, it it may sound very political, um, uh, prudent or political savvy, but it's not economically viable. People somehow the things economists somehow believe that the uh, entire in uh, in the entire world this protectionism is happening. Uh, Trumps want the local youth to be given the uh, the job. And the same thing is happening because the IT industry people are suffering over there. Okay, now let's come to the uh, uh, your party's uh, what you call. Uh, politics policies in in center uh, that is the reason that the uh, bjp is not re, uh, giving the kind of assurance that you are demanding that you are weighing your your you are your moving your uh, steps very carefully you are supporting the government in one bill you are opposing the government in second bill i am talking about the triple talaq bill the why is your party is somehow opposing it yes. so how do you see this 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 uh, relation between your party and the bjp at the center I I am very we are very clear with our stand mm -hmm. so when it comes to the uh, the matters of the subjects uh, what uh, the bills are coming over okay so in triple tarak uh, we are completely against to this uh, when there is a, uh, a if uh, the husband mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, involved uh, with this triple talaq mm -hmm. he has given uh, uh, as 3 years of imprisonment yeah. then how can he uh, uh, save the children i mean he has to give some uh, Uh, the money, 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 money to, to the children and all, and he has to take care of the children. When he is there in the three years of uh, behind the bars, mm -hmm. how can uh, he protect them? Okay. So in uh, even in the do domestic violence of 2005 also, when mm -hmm. there is a uh, complete clear uh, act in the civil uh, offence uh, happened to me, and why the criminal charge should be taken? Okay, that okay. is the point we wanted to raise, and we raised and we opposed it. Okay. 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 Now, um, uh, but how do you see that the, the politics of Andhra Pradesh at the moment? Because TDP is now very, uh, very, very down. Um, Chandra Babu Naidu is not that um, good in his health. I mean, he's he's uh, uh, has gone to US to uh, to check his health. Um, how do you see, see the prospect of his party? His son is also trying to somehow take over the reins from him. Uh, Congress prospect in, in in the state. How do you see the coming in coming years? uh the political hue of the andhra pradesh uh, the tdp right now it's completely uh, in a crisis what you can exactly say mm -hmm. uh, if you i'm not exaggerating it mm -hmm. but uh, because as you see that four rajya sabha mps uh, went to bjp, BJP. and uh, later on uh, and they are left with uh, 23 mlas mm -hmm. is the first time ever Mm -hmm. For Telugu Desam Party, this much of uh, uh, the crisis they've been facing right now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, regarding his son, uh, his uh, an M M L C now, mm -hmm. and uh, he was given a minister uh, in the past government, past, past, past government. government also. Well, uh, Andhra Pradesh, the people of Andhra Pradesh knows about him, so there's nothing much to talk about him. Mm -hmm. Even though he tries to protect the party, uh, so the people of uh, Andhra Pradesh. may not accept him because uh, the vision what he got uh, and he is no comparable at all uh, with our party leader or any of uh, the prominent leader in our pr prominent leaders in our party okay now uh, time and, is short uh, you are talking about the congress party oh, the yeah, congress, congress party is completely wiped out uh, from andhra pradesh once they've got uh, bifurcated the united andhra pradesh they've completely away uh, from uh, the andhra pradesh and uh, the people of andhra pradesh will never trust uh, Uh, the Congress Party, and now the BJP also left uh, Andhra Pradesh people mm -hmm. without sanctioning special category status. That is our right mm -hmm. uh, to have a special category status for Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so that is how we have been requesting our honourable uh, Chief Minister is also giving uh, what exactly the situation of Andhra Pradesh is right now. Okay. So uh, they have to take as a big br a big brother's role mm -hmm. towards its younger brother. That is what our uh, honourable chief minister has an idea, and he has been expressing to the uh, leaders of the BJP. Was it a bifurcation of the state uh, that somehow dented the Congress prospect, or uh, uh, was it Congress treatment towards Jagan, the way Congress entire Congress party treated Jagan Mohan Reddy, uh, was the reason that the Congress dismal performance? What's your assessment about it? Both. Both. you can say it both once uh, it has started it has started once they have uh, expelled uh, not expelled in fact uh, the treatment what have uh, mm, given, given to our leader mm. uh, that the people somehow he is the son to the or beloved uh, uh, the past chief past minister chief 
and our beloved leader so they cannot treat uh, his son like that mm-hmm. once he is not supporting he is not supporting it. in the sense the people of andhra pradesh mm-hmm. uh, uh, once uh, the demise of uh, the late uh, ys rajeshekar reddy garu went on the people are uh, completely heartbroken mm-hmm. so the people uh, he made a promise uh, our uh, chief minister made a promise at uh, the the place where he got uh, expired and he made a promise that i'm go- i'll come and meet each and every uh, every family whose life has gone off uh, okay. because of uh, the heartbreak in uh, of mm-hmm. uh, the death of ys rajshekar reddy garu and he made a promise and he stick to the promise and the congress party he didn't did wanted uh, him to go you uh, call up all the people at one place gather them and uh, give your condolence to the to those people mm-hmm. then what our leader told is uh, uh, to sonia gandhi ji uh, you have came to me mm-hmm. when my father got expired mm-hmm. i didn't come to you that is the tradition what we have the condolence exactly. has to be said like that yeah, yeah yeah that is the thing he has expressed mm-hmm. and they didn't agree to that and uh, our leader's uh, main agenda once you make a promise deliver that deliver that that's it okay that is what he says to our all, all the people of andhra pradesh also in fact so my last question would be like uh, this is special status category is a kind of a uh, what you call uh, have a success mantra whichever party gets it and whichever party give uh, gives it to the andhra pradesh will somehow have a better future in andhra pradesh politics or not if if a bjp gives it probably bjp will come up with the idea that we okay it is us that who has given this this uh, special status to the andhra pradesh so i mean can we say that yeah and this is very clear uh, n- even still today the special category status is still alive only because of our beloved leader ys jagan mohan reddy garu mm-hmm. it's nothing but and if bjp grants special category status okay of course they'll have a bright future in andhra pradesh too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the tdp is uh, now in a, is like just like a sinking ship Mm-hmm. Thank you. Then they can take the role of uh, uh, TDP. They can be a substitute for TDP. Okay. Okay. So if they grant special category status, the the people of Andhra Pradesh uh, generally ad, uh, accepts uh, BJP and somehow as an opposition even. So do 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 you come somehow sense that this tug of war is going on between uh, now YSRCP and the BJP and the centre somehow both the parties and both the camps are weighing the opportunities and and the possibilities uh, when to give and how to give somehow is it is it a kind of a, a uh, thing? nothing but uh, because the BJP is like a national party and we are like a regional party we are uh, completely uh, to our uh, state Andhra Pradesh th- that's it. and bjp is a national party they has to that is what i am trying to tell you they have to play a big brother's role yeah. and we are like wounded andhra pradesh we want uh, the bjp and honorable prime minister to nurture the people of andhra pradesh with love and compassion okay uh, one more question um, your uh, experience so far this first session i mean the being the first time member of parliament there are many first time are uh, this time in 17th lok sabha what's your experience and uh, uh, how do you find the the uh, the culture of parliament the weather of delhi and your experience as a member of parliament so far it's really a, a wonderful experience it's really a spectacular uh, to be there in this uh, noble house and uh, first uh, for the first one week uh, it is really hard for me what exactly going in the parliament okay okay and the question now and what is zero over what is question hour, what is uh, 377 and what is 193 i've been keep on uh, referring all the books and i've been studying it and now uh, uh, i felt somehow felt this is my place this is my cup of tea and you are lucky enough in the sense i mean the, uh, the first time i'm lucky enough because uh, the speaker of the house is, uh, are giving lot of opportunity to the young the first timer as well yes, yes. this did not happen in the last uh, lok sabha so probably i mean these people are uh, quite lucky in that sense yes as well. that is for true and a uh, lot of youngsters has came in uh, this time and moreover uh, on my first speech my debut speech also i made on the uh, reply to the budget Mm-hmm. Uh, so that time uh, our honorable speaker also happened to see in the tv uh, b- by the time uh, it was shared by uh, some chairman mm-hmm. uh, from the bjp and uh, he he saw in the tv uh, in his uh, chamber okay and as as soon as he saw that and he has called me to his chamber and he appreciated me also that came in the all the national news and the, in that part i'm so lucky that uh, I felt this is my place. This is my place to serve the people of Andhra Pradesh and to serve the people of the country. 
We wish you all the best. I mean, this Thank is your you. place, and uh, I hope that you serve your people, you serve your state, and uh, we wish you all the best. Let's in terms of that, uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh gets this special status, and uh, uh, wishes and ambitions gets fulfilled uh, by the BJP. Thank you very much for Thank sparing so time much. and coming to uh, Lok Sabha Television Studio. That's Thank so we can say that uh, uh, the young and uh, very clear-headed uh, uh, member of parliament, uh, Mr. Bharat Margani, if I am pronouncing this time a correct name. Um, so his, his demand is that uh, the promises made by the BJP and the Prime Minister Modi should be fulfilled. And this is a long-cherished demand of the people of the Andhra Pradesh uh, to be given a special status category. Uh, if it gets fulfilled, uh, probably uh, the freight sentiment would be soothed uh, because the bifurcation has not gone down very well. Uh, to the majority of the Andhra Pradesh people uh, and that happened uh, a couple of years ago and probably it happens it will happen uh, good for the people of the Andhra Pradesh that's all we have in this edition of uh, meet your MP we'll meet uh, we'll come with the next uh, episode with another member of parliament till then have a very bright future thank you very much for watching Lok Sabha TV